All right, so now that your shade is assembled to the truck, I want to remind you once more that weight of this shade is extremely important. I encourage you, if you have a scale in the workroom, before you stick it to the head rail, put it on the scale and just verify the weight of it. Weight is very important uh, in regards to the, how many springs we will have in the truck. So, the way to operate this shade is to assist the lifting. Don't expect that you will pull and the spring will start rolling. No, it doesn't happen. You have to assist the lifting of the shade, just like that. And you can stop at any given point. So now, the ideal situation is when you reach your highest point, your shade stays stable. If it doesn't, if it tends to pull down, that means you don't have enough power and you need to add a spring. That's why the first question we will ask when you call for troubleshooting would be how much you weight, uh, your shade weights. Now, to lower your shade, you pull it down. And again, if everything is in balance, it has to stay stable, just like that. If you find out that your shade is pulling up, this is a tendency that every spring basically has. Because when you pull the shade down, it's the moment where the, your spring is retracted like that. And naturally, it will want to take up. Right? This is exactly what's happening. So if, this, if you see this bubble here, there are two things you can do. One, is to adjust the tension at the cords of the back of the shade. How you do that? There is this slider on the drums. You push at the grommet and slide in through the steps here. This actually creates extra tension at the cord and works against the torque of the spring. Another option is to add extra weight at that bar bar and this will keep your shade in balance. 